Aye. Charles Chuck LaBelle. Solemnly affirm. Solemnly affirm. And I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States and the State of Oregon. Of the United States and the State of Oregon. And the Charter of the City of Portland and its laws. And the Charter of the City of Portland and its laws. And I will faithfully, honestly, and ethically. I will faithfully, honestly, and ethically. Perform my duties. Perform my duties. As Chief Bureau of Police. As Chief Bureau of Police. Thank you. So I'm, I don't have a written speech or anything, but I'll just share a little bit of what's on my heart today. Um, I know this is a promotion, but in my mind, I really feel that this is just a call to service. I've been serving the police bureau and the city of Portland for 18 plus years. And this is just the opportunity to serve in another capacity. No one really knows when the day or the hour that this call is going to come, but rest assured it's not going to come under the ideal circumstances. But uh, I am blessed um, to have a great team, and I've got a great organization of folks who are dedicated, compassionate, and caring who want to improve our relationship with the community. I can't do this alone. I'm going to need them every step of the way. This is going to be uh, a journey, but I think it's uh, a journey that's going to be worthwhile and it's going to lead us to a better place with community and we need to all get there together. So thank you and I look forward to serving, serving all of you. Well said. Just speak briefly. Uh, first of all, uh, Chief LaBelle, congratulations. This is, uh, as you put it, a challenging time. I think that's an understatement. I just saw a recent poll that said 80% of Americans believe the United States is in a state of chaos. And I want you to know, I, I see things differently. I, I actually believe that this is a time for reflection. It's a time to listen. It's a time to understand. And all across America, as right here in Portland, people are demanding that we reevaluate how we keep the safe and they're demanding transformational change and so what I believe this means for you chief is that these times are going to require extraordinary leadership we know that under your tenure there are going to be significant changes to the police bureau there, there are already changes underway um, we don't know yet exactly how those changes will manifest themselves or what will be required to implement those changes effectively, but it's going to require the best that all of us have. And I was really struck by something you said in your press conference the other day. You said that you were willing to take on the mantle of leadership out of love for the community and out of love for the Bureau. And I think that is exactly the right perspective to take. I believe you are exactly the right leader for this, this time of dramatic change. But I also want to say this, you cannot do it alone. This is a very lonely time to be a leader when there's so much going on. And I want to commit to you that I will support you. Uh, I've enjoyed working with you when you're the adjutant to former Chief Outlaw. And of course, you've continued the leadership role under Chief Resch. And uh, you should expect to continue to have my support, and the Bureau should continue to expect, expect to have my support. You're going to need the Bureau and the community to also work alongside you and support you. So much of my job going forward in supporting you will be to help bring the community together to support the changes we need to make, but also support you and the men and women of the Portland Police Bureau uh, on whose shoulders the burden of these changes ultimately fall. So thank you, Chuck, for stepping forward. Congratulations to you. Uh, you have my uh, complete support and respect. Thank you for stepping forward. Thank you, Mayor.